Hello and welcome to the David Ann Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head track and field coach David Ann. The coach, uh, it's been an exciting time around your program these past few weeks. Uh, let's start and talk about the, uh, the MAC Indoor Championship. Um, the men were able to repeat as conference champions uh, a little more easily maybe than last time. And then the women uh, placed fourth overall. So just talk in general just how that went for both the men and the women. Yeah, so on the men's side, I mean, we went in as the favorite and, and um, they they definitely felt the pressure, but it was yep. nice to, to come out with the championship again for the second year. And um, it was a little bit, like last year was a lot closer. We right. only won by two points. This year, it was, I think it was over 40 points. So yep. so it was really, really exciting. And we had a lot of a lot of great performances on, on that side as well. Yeah. And then talk a little bit about the women's side. Obviously, the big story for your women, obviously, the throwers. They had a great week, both, you know, in a couple of events. And just talk about, you know, the amount of points they gave you. And overall, you know, overall, the team had a good yeah, so that throws group on the women's side had an amazing meet, uh, both the shot put and the weight throw. I forget the exact total number of points, right. but it was it was a really it was a big it was a significant part of yeah. our, our point total, and um, we wouldn't have finished fourth without them scoring all those points. Yeah, absolutely. And um, that top four teams, like I, well, we knew it was going to be close, yeah. so um, we just kind of finished at that fourth spot. But it's definitely a motivation for them going into outdoor next year. Yeah, absolutely. You look at that top four on the women's side, it was pretty close, you know, a couple points here or there, you know, you're talking about, you know, second or third, potentially even first, just, um, yeah, just need a little bit more depth on the women's side, which I think is the strong point of men. When you look at the standings, it wasn't so much, I mean, you didn't have a ton of individual wins, but just, you know, events where you had three, four, or five guys score, it certainly helps that depth, it certainly helps that point total. Absolutely. That's, that is what helped a lot on the men's side. We're definitely deep and have people in most events, and that's our goal over the next year with the, the women's team as well is trying to fill in some of those holes and, and then hopefully come out with two yeah. teams on the next year. Yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, you know, just said individually, uh, first you were uh, named on the bench side, the coach of the year, so congratulations for that. Thank you. And then uh, Derek Davis was named the co-track athlete of the year for the uh, He's a sophomore, certainly impressive, and obviously he's got room to grow. Yeah, so Derek, I mean, he ran, I think it was 6.94 at the conference meet, yeah. and then um, he actually ran 6.89 this past weekend, yeah. so uh, really impressive. I mean, like you said, he's only a sophomore, so we're, myself and Coach Brown are really excited that he's got two more years. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Then shifting gears, um, you know, I had a last chance to qualify this weekend. Um, this weekend coming up, we have uh, three student athletes competing at the Nationals, which is the first time in indoor we've ever had three, so that's certainly a great accomplishment. Uh, Derek in the 60, uh, Richie in the half, and uh, Kimberly Hammond in the long jump. So just talk about those three and uh, how they're feeling coming into the weekend. Yeah, so it was a really exciting weekend this past weekend because yeah. um, just I'll start with Kim. So yeah. Kim going into the long jump this weekend, she was ranked 20th, and they only take 20. Yeah. <laughs> so so she put a lot of pressure on herself, but um, she always kind of does well in those, those clutch situations. Yeah. And she actually ended up winning the All-Atlantic meet on her last jump. Yeah. And she jumped 5.68 meters, so that, that bumped her all the way up to 13th on the list. So, yeah. so she's going this weekend. And then on the men's side, Derek Davis improved to 6.89, yeah. which um, only one other person in our program has ever broke 6.90, and that was Avanti Williams. Right. And, um, and then Richie Case, he didn't compete this weekend. We're resting up yeah. because he has seven events to do this coming weekend. Yeah. It'll in the be a little busy. So we rested him up a little bit, but he's going in, I think, ranked number 17th in the country this weekend. So yeah, really exciting, like you said, to have three individuals. It's the most we've ever had. And certainly if you look at both Derek and Kim, um, you know, they're right there for the school record, so they have a good performance this weekend. You know, they could have that school record by the time it's all said and done. I mean, obviously, the primary goal is to finish in that top eight, the you know, All-American status, but certainly if they do that, they'll certainly probably have that score. Record. Yeah, I do feel like if, if any of them improve on what they've already done, they, they have a really good shot at being in that top eight. Yeah. And then, it's hard to believe, but a couple of weeks, uh, you know, the weather outside, in a couple of weeks will be in the outdoor season. So uh, I know you guys are taking a couple of weeks off to kind of rest up and prepare for that, but uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to that. I'm sure you're looking for Looking forward to the nice weather as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, we will take a little bit of a break, but yeah. um, it's just kind of right right into right in the outdoor. I mean, our first meet is at Widener on March 29th and 30th. Right. So, yeah, not a lot of time, but obviously a couple of weeks, you know, we're breaking everything, yeah. a little bit of time to prepare. So, my right, coach, we'll wish you and your student athletes the best of luck this weekend at Nationals, and uh, we'll chat again soon. Thanks, man. All right. For Dave Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Dan Show.